Hello, this is TT. And this is Quim. And we're back for a dramatic announcement. <laughs> apparently. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Today's lunch will be prepared. Via time competitive cook <laughs> Oh, boy. The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Demand they stop wasting everyone's time or step up and tell them you're on! You're on. Oh yeah, bring it on, hobags! A better lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in! I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it! <laughs> I'm not the fool. You're the fool. Fool. Oh yeah, you told us. Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption, Kitty. Oh, I'll be watching your performance. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. No, no, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Sportsing, huh? Hmm. Finally, a little sense. <clears throat> you breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. Oh yeah, that makes it. That'll do it. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the word, TIMER READY! Oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Aru? How for us, Quim? How? <laughs> I stand corrected! The hard way builds solidity, a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. <laughs> like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now's my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself. You had his chicken, and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Uh, what temperature does water boil at? Always a hundred, boil 100 seconds after you turn the heat on. 100 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Pick one. Go. That's right, but how would you have ever gotten it? You have to pick one without knowing that. Winner gets to rub my furry belly. Oh, boy. Well, that enticing offer motivate you. You're going to need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and spices did he say he used? Oh, I don't remember. It's, uh... Eleven? That's right! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you might not know all the ingredients yet, but at least you're heading in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Tail wagging and tetsuvise. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor, vigilant, trust, gratitude? I don't know. Trust? Yeah. That's wow. wrong! Nuts! I'm begging you to get it together. Get it? I'm a dog. It's never the wrong time for some dog jokes. Oh boy. Okay. Classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harness that energy. So where does it come from? Small town, big dreams. Shoulder over eye and deep beneath the surface. Small town, big dreams. <laughs> this is your shot. You're not going to miss it. Aru. Wow. <laughs> you try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. Okay. What is the sound of success? Silence, sizzling, bubbling. No. Sizzling? Yeah. That's wrong! It's gotta be bubbling. Oh, don't make me get the spray bottle. Ah, jeez. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Kitty. Oh, boy. He's actually cheering you on! Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now, all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. Oh, boy. How many spoonfuls of gravy? Traditional face. Looks in the horizon. What are you thinking? Get your mind back in the competition! Her. You are stranded on a desert island with only one desert co dessert cookbook. Which do you take? What a hunk! Oh boy. I know, right? <laughs> you know what? Shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Sorry, I forgot the question. You and Colonel Sanders walk along the beach. 
What does that have to do with the crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicious beef? You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley's already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Uh, yikes. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. You might not have any hands, but Kitty does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way, and a hard way. You don't get far going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. Kitty, no! You're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly splitting beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Shanders shakes his head in shame. Well, we've done well. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be! I was so close to finishing my dish! Oh, where are you? Oh, sweetheart, look at your hand. You're simply, you simply can't go on. Oh, too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Kitty's injury. You see, Sprinkles began to lick his diet chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped right to dessert. Under the white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor. That's my voice. Sorry. Under the white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Kitty to do the honors, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of del delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquette, a top of slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry jelly. The heck is jelly? I have no idea. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Mm. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you. <laughs> as he places a soft-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something in his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage. Put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. Um... Rage? Ash. Rage, rage, I guess. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flame cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off of your face, which means people have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. What the hell? Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run for the quad to be alone. Wow. That's that's nice. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to enter his. It ha he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now, not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. Chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well then, think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome, successful, and motivated. Well, handsome 
Sure, I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. Gross. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. Gross. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. Gross. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. I didn't know! People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then, then, then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a sticking stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past mistakes. Hey, yay! Where did he Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the Spork Monster again? Gorko, the Spork Monster, is here to fight a hero. Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you last night. I was born in Madrid, and I'm going to hurt in him. Are you stronger than Gorko? Well, the twins says no, not really. But very much exactly full of the way. What is that? Colonel Sanders smirks. He is already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Marco pretty easily, so I don't think you have much of a chance. Not to mention I feel real guilty about that. If I could take it back, I would. I think what Kitty is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose it is a need to fight. It's the time that he's pointing teeth and cries. All the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely, if you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do. Inspiration strikes and you come up with a quick idea. Chop on this! You toss the disc in the Gorko's open mouth and he devours it on the bulk. I do this, it's too much nice for them to give a third and two the butter time. Turn me into the queen who stands here today. I don't believe you were human once! Well, no, I was in Tarawa, but I was still soon at the school until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book caught the dark enchantment on me and I was trying to throw forever. A magic spell book? Precisely. Marcus is the helicopter, but some was on the way I blocked it. If you find such a book, I beg you, respect that. You are powerful, Seth. You don't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you're so big to have to innocent from those who would cheat them for his whole three and guile. If you need me, no fear, I will be there. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Kitty, together, I am sure we can beat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Oh, a personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like. But it sounds like you're about to find out. Uh, okay, we're going home. It's nighttime. Stepping into Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. Oh my gosh, we're alone in his house. It looks like <laughs> you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Do you see those pictures on the wall? Yeah, Colonel Sanders always looked like that, apparently. Okay. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching. These are the pictures we're talking about right here. Yeah. Never stop working. Never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited 
to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavor and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Xander's eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy, perhaps both? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Reveal it. We're already feeling some love. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. On us? I present to you my original cold flour. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. Magnificent. Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold onto the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. You could <laughs> offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a minute. He's going to come out and I'll let in a leopard thong. Oh, jeez. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Yes! Why? Look for that leopard thong. <laughs> Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the kernel. Ooh. Okay. We have a chicken. We have the window. We have what looks like a candle. A comb. Picture, picture, picture. Cupboard. Urn. What do you want to click on? Oh, I don't want to do the urn. Might have like people in it. Yeah. What about the chicken? Sure. <laughs> you notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic. It's real. Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. I'm sure it tasted great. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot read, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. The outside window. Ooh. You gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. If he puts his arm around us, I swear I'm going to freak out. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. No. <laughs> Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a guest quest to avenge my death? Oh, how do you know? Wait, what? I never even learned your name! Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. Oh, boy. Jeez. Uh, uh, ah. The candle. What's this thing? I don't know. Must be where he keeps the secret recipe. Oh, it's a safe. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11. Oh no, the safe opens. Oh no, you find a single note. Can chicken be prepared? Chishimi style? Hmm. <laughs> Why did we touch that? I feel bad. Uh, that candle. <laughs> A scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. Power tool? What? Freshly starched collar? Oh yeah, because those smell like pieces of wood floating on a lake? What is wrong with our sniffer? <laughs> summer of 69? I wasn't even alive in the summer of 69. Were you? No. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess that's not possible. It's one of the secret ready recipe ingredients. It's... Uh-oh. If we go in there and he's in a leopard thong, I don't think we want to go in there. Should we keep exploring the pictures and stuff? Please. Picture. One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheering, cheersing them. Cheers. I don't see that. I don't see that either. You look close and see there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. This has got to be some KFC trivia. Tapping an item. More about the colonel. Earn. Sure. 
Take a look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty. When you wipe it off, you read the inscription. It says, Here lies the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy! Uh, what do you do? Kill them? I'm assuming not. Okay, the photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt? Maybe that's the way he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices! Alright. An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure this must be Colonel Sanders himself. Oh that, boy. or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who'd make their own face the logo of a company they founded, am I right? Tap on an item. Oh, okay, we got the comb. A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Please don't take it. Please don't take it. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just silvery in color. It's actually made of spun silver. Please don't take it. Okay, good. Uh, you know, this is probably a good safe spot to go ahead and end this recording on. Um, yeah, I'm a little weirded out that we're going to go in that door and he's going to be in a leopard spot in bikini bottom. Whatever, he might not be. He might be, though. I mean, you just never know. So this is TT. And this is Quim. And we will catch you on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe.